The donkey, though heavy, sluggish and lazy, has great humility. It is neither proud nor vain. Because of this, it is unlike the haughty horse. Jesus, who was humble and came to destroy pride, chose not to use the proud horse to carry him. Instead, he chose the most simple and the most humble of all animals, because he so loved lowliness and humility that only a humble mount could serve him. God, dwells and abides only in the simple and humble of heart. The donkey is an amazing animal, allowing itself to be beaten and maltreated, without ever forgetting its origin. It neither complains, nor bites, nor kicks. Our Lord so loved patience that he wished to become its mirror and pattern. He endured scourging and ill-treatment with invincible patience. He supported so many blasphemies, so many insults, without saying a word. The donkey permits us to burden it as we want without offering any resistance. It carries the load with remarkable submission and suppleness. So much did our Divine Master love obedience and suppleness that he himself chose to give us an example of it. So he bore the heavy burden of our iniquities and suffered for them all that we had merited. Only when clothed with these qualities of humility, patience and submission can we be worthy to carry our Lord. Then the Saviour will mount upon our hearts and, as a divine riding master, conduct us under his obedience. The legend of the donkey begins with a poor farmer near Jerusalem. He owned a donkey far too small to do much work at all. He felt that he couldn't afford to feed a worthless animal like this, one that could do him no good whatsoever, so at the supper table he told his family that he was going to kill the donkey. His children, who loved the little donkey, begged him to sell it rather than harm it. But the farmer said, it's wrong to sell an animal that can't do a good day's work. Then his oldest daughter suggested, father, tie the donkey to a tree on the road to town, and say whoever wants it, may take it for nothing. And the next morning, that's what the farmer did. Soon, two men approached and asked if they could have the donkey. It can carry almost nothing, the farmer warned them. Jesus of Nazareth has need of it, replied one of the men. The farmer couldn't imagine what a great teacher would want with such a worthless donkey, but he handed it over. The men took the animal to Jesus, who stroked the grateful donkey's face and then mounted it and rode away. So it was on the day we call Palm Sunday, Jesus led his followers into the city of Jerusalem riding on the back of a small, common donkey. The donkey so loved his gentle master that he later followed him to Calvary. Grief stricken by the sight of Jesus on the cross, the donkey turned away but couldn't leave. It was, then that the shadow of the cross fell upon the shoulders and back of the donkey, and there it stayed. All purebred donkeys have borne the sign of the cross on their backs since that very day.